I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, old man, old man. Old man. It's a nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Snap it up. funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up all cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or hey, hey. how you got involved with killers. Oh. <laughs> I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got them right. Hey, you don't take that from this punk tone. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived them of But I might start any time. Now say you're sorry. Fucking say you're sorry. Has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop cut. Don't act clever. Right. I will blow your brains oh all over this Fuck counter, this every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Marty. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put Shut the gun down, son. Oh, Who the fuck oh, is this? Help. Put the gun oh. down now. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before anyone gets shot. I got you. Who I the fuck you. are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm gonna fuck off. Get you, I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay I'm right here. You. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from. All over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't because interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Cheers. What, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something? Well, I'm full. Soldier! Cheers! You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. What you Girl sure I had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town.
Jersey don't change! to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. We ain't gonna make this easy for us, are they? Stay over here! Cover me! Yes, sir. He could have been setting me up for a fall. Something told me to stay put. Trust him. right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, Scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. 
Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Pain! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Oh, you're not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil shit. men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be Lands in fire! No, no, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn.
gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Coming into Newark Airport. Get right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Up there! Up there! Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. You look like you were doing fine. Okay, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. What the fuck are you Scotch and pills. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, say goodbye. We gotta go. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit.
leather. There's plenty here, go and beg it. This don't show the blood so much. How's this look? Around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah. Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what, we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapre. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed that little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Yeah, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. I wonder where the hell she is. I know there's a harbor about a half a mile up. It's gotta be there. This is a known Commando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Glide in. Don't go anywhere.
Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. I had no idea what lay ahead. And as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later. If at all.
that was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. Serrano had taken Fabiana through the garage door. I had to find a way to open it. wasn't doing anything to sharpen my thinking. Was there a switch in that room? I was in a cocaine factory, but I'd stick to the depressants. I opened the door to the next circle of this low-rent hell. to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout.
I could get through on the catwalk if I went back into the other room. Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. Keep on going across the dock. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
More company! Oh, 
place was crawling. How many guys they got? How many poor kids want nice sneakers? It ain't hard to hire. Hey, we're on them again. See Fabian. Move up, Papa. All right, all right. I'll get us a little closer. Who's in? Come on, just give me a second. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. 